Welcome to this week's Q&A. We have a question from a viewer in Australia that asks, should I buy my own house right now? Well, as always, we have to ask a few more questions first. Now, where is this house? What market is it in? And where is it within that market, perhaps? So in this instance, it's actually in Sydney and it's in the eastern suburbs. Um, if we look at the figures, the latest figures from Core Logic, and we look at particularly the Sydney and Melbourne markets, it's interesting to note that of all the suburbs that have been measured, about 38.6% of those in Sydney saw a decline over the March quarter, and nearly half of those suburbs saw a decline in Melbourne. Um, and that ranged from you know 7% from houses in certain suburbs in Sydney to 0.1%, and similarly, Melbourne had a, a significant dispersion of those value declines. And people need to remember, of course, that we've seen both of those markets post the most significant uplift of values over the last two years or even more than two years during the course of the pandemic and before that. So more importantly, I suppose, you know, this viewer is saying, I want to live in this place. So again, it's, it's perhaps common knowledge that one should anticipate that these most expensive markets in Australia, the least affordable, would show the greatest tendency for price declines as interest rates rise over the ensuing months and for the rest of this year and potentially next year, certainly heading into 2024. Um, so yes, you know, if you're going to buy something in, uh, in Sydney's eastern suburbs now, uh, yes, the price can come down. It could come down 10%, it could come down 15%. Um, no one has a crystal ball, but we do have to recognise that if you found something that actually ticks the boxes for you as the place that you want to live in, then one thing that is certainly assured is that if this property goes down in value by 10 or 15% over the passage of time, it will increase by more than that, given what's happened over the course of history. So I think it's important to recognise that you're trying to do two things. Obviously, buy a home that really appeals to you, and not overpay. However, trying to pick the, the bottom of any market in, in residential real estate or almost any other asset is very, very difficult. And then for that perfect property to exist in that market and be available for you to buy is perhaps also somewhat unlikely. So it might be more important to say, look, can I afford to pay this price for this property and, and service that debt uh, comfortably going forward? as I'm going to stay there for the long term? And if the answer is yes to those questions, then I think you're probably better off saying, I'm going to buy something when I find it and when I think it is actually the right decision for me to make from a lifestyle viewpoint. Because let's not forget, a home is an asset, but you're not buying it for an investment purpose primarily, but as a lifestyle asset. Anyway, I hope that's been helpful and next week we'll probably address some more of the questions that we're getting around affordability in the Australian housing markets around the country. I'm Andrew Untervega from Wise Guru and I'll see you again next week. If you like this, please click subscribe and we'll give you all of the useful information that you require a long time.